Hello everyone, it's Marcus again doing a cheat table tutorial on Monster Hunter World. We're going to go over the Guiding Lance and some of the data inside the Guiding Lance. Since a lot of people feel that Guiding Lance is a very tedious, stretchy, grinding kind of concept. So we're going to go ahead and use my main character for this. Since we have a duplication already, we can just use this one. In the Guiding Lands, you'll have the option to do quite a few things. You can fight all possible monsters that have been encountered in the world, but there are some that just do not show up. And you have to remember in the Guiding Lands, you're only going to get specific sets of materials. So you're not going to get all the parts. So here's the Guiding Lands. One of the good things about the guideline editing is we can go ahead and go to making multiple monsters appear. So go ahead and do the save editor. Make sure to attach the game first if you haven't already like I just did. Go to save editor, head down to guiding lands. There should be an option. There it is. Guiding lands. Oh, that's the research one. We want this one, the generic region. So here you can see the three monsters, Glavinus, Silver Athelos, and the Viper Toby Kodachi. I'm going to go ahead and edit that. And let's just make them all the Viper Toby Kodachi. Of course, it seems that the Viper Toby Kodachi is only in the Tundra here, so we're going to go ahead and select that. You can decide the level, uh, depending on what kind of monster it is, there are different thresholds. So with generic monsters, if you put them all to 7, they're always going to be tempered. Some of them will be tempered at 3 or 4, and some will be tempered at 6. What this also means is that this is how many points you gain when you kill this monster or capture it, multiplied by 3. So every monster basically lets you like 21 points, and that's added to your Guiding Lands level. Your Guiding Lands level is actually capped at 150,000 by the game itself. I'm actually not sure why that... Okay, that's the address, never mind. So when you increase that, it basically tallies up all your regions. You can find that under the region section tab. If you're just specifically looking for, say, the, the Molies, you can set them all to 60 or 70 to max out those levels and grind for those to capture them with your net. Otherwise, if you just want to do it naturally, you could just up-level this. Remember, it's always going to be 21, so there's nothing going to help you here. Uh, in the long run, if you decide to do it vanilla style, just keep on increasing. This is basically legit, so I've only made about 6,900 points overall in the entire Guiding Lands. There is also a analysis progress, which deals with the pop-ups that show you what kind of monster is going to be researched and the levels you have. I'm going to go ahead and go in there so you can see what that looks like. Right now it looks like we only have two. A Elder Dragon, basically, and a Brute Wyvern. Yeah. So those two should show up, one being level 4, the other one being level 3, and you, they all, you know where they pop up. They pop up in the right corner. As you can see here at the top, it says the Brute Wyvern and the Elder Dragon, and you have them as research. You'll also notice now we have the three Vipers. Let's see if they're even... They're not displayed, so we have to find them. The lures is another thing. A lot of people want to lure out monsters, but they don't have the necessary lures to get it. There is a script that'll help you with this, and that would be the get lure selection. Let's see if it still functions. To do that, what you need to do is open the lures and just pick anything, and it'll fill up. As you can see, it just filled up. It says Urgan and the region along with the scene trigger. Now if you really want to push the game over its limit, the scene trigger section says 2 on it. If you set that to 2, you immediately initialize the cutscene to having that monster lured out. 
So you can technically lure out the same monster over again, but it's only going to happen two times. So you can't have three of the same monster lured out like we have right now with the Toby uh, Viper Kadachi then. Let's see where that Toby is first. The other downside to this is that each of these monsters have a timer. And you can find that under the pointers. They usually have about 900 seconds before they disappear. Let's make sure that he's going to go to that. Yeah, it's going to that. Okay, one of the Tobogodachis showed up. And there you go. Looks like that's one. There's two. They're all here. You can fight them whenever you feel like it. So with this, you can actually trigger this event. We just did her again. So let's go ahead and just set that to two. Cutscene will trigger even though you're actually not anywhere near the handler. You can skip it too if you wanted to. So one of these guys is just going to run off for the replacement. And you can do this again. And you'll have followers. The alternative to getting lures is the completing the analysis here. You could set them to whatever level shows up. So this one is a level 5 and the other one's a level 7. And it'll complete. Do that. You'll notice they just went up. So once you do enough damage, breaking parts, or capturing, they'll complete. That's the alternative you have to this. Now let's talk about the bone piles and the mining sections. So you'll have the regular ones, and then you'll have the giants. The giants will show up with a simple 1, 2, or 3 value, while the normal ones will show up one th basically 0 through 99. When it reaches 100, it throws in a giant. If you were to, we're currently in the tundra, so let's go ahead and set that one to 99. Let's go ahead and find something. There's one right here. If we were to mine this right now and watch what happens, it's going to go back to 0 or 15 because of the over level and set the giant to 13. It could be possible that that number is just the maximum. It has no effect though, so as soon as you find that giant outcrop, it will just, there it is already, it'll set back to zero, so it doesn't matter if it's 99 or 13. I th there is no significance to the number itself. You still get the same item and you still get the same amount. So if you're desperate and looking for this, you could just set them all to 99 or set these to 1. I don't know if it affects immediately. That may just be depending on if you run out of the region and then back in. Bone piles function the same way. Again, just set them to 99, collect once, and then the giants pop up. These are the only two significant things you have there if you're really looking to not grind. As for region levels, remember, don't go over anything over 70. That's, that's the max. It's technically 65. There's a 5,000 over limit that allows you, just in case if you go to a different region, it doesn't down level immediately. Uh, maxing out all of these will require you to basically have a maximum, I'd say about 350,000. So you're long, long away from even achieving this if you plan on doing that. So this is just a general concept of what you need to do if you want to just speed up certain aspects on the guiding lands. Remember that if you do edit certain things, for example like I did with the two Tobies, if you were to save in this current situation, you will corrupt your save. Luckily there is a solution to that. You can either go to the save editor and undo it, since that's an obvious appearance, or the, if you really screwed up and you have no way of editing, you still have the pink script that says bypass incorrect value, allowing you to load the save even though there are 
there are values that shouldn't be there, such as in content you should not have because of early release, or just generic values that are nearly impossible to achieve on a natural basis. Alright, so that is basically the only thing regarding the Guiding Lands. There is not really much more to edit. I mean, if you want to speed things up, this is as fast as it's going to get. Uh, getting more of the same monster on the field, or summoning it out by force, or just generally editing the outcrop value so you didn't have to spend a lot of time running around trying to catch something. And then it also helps with your molies. As always, don't be a dick, hit escape and quit, and we'll see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.